What's good, YouTube? This is Al B, and I'm back with another video. Just like I told y'all I would, today I'm going to be going over how to use the Innovation Launch Key Mini MK3 with FL Studio. Now, what you'll find is that the MK3 is geared towards Ableton Live users and a little bit towards Reason users, but they don't really show a lot of love to FL Studio. But don't worry about it. I got y'all. That's what I'm here for. I'm gonna show you guys my custom template that I created that allows me to use FL Studio in what I found to be the best way with the MK3. Now, the way I'm gonna show you is gonna really help you lay out your tracks really quickly and get your ideas going without getting kind of caught up in the DAW. Before you wanna get more advanced with your arrangement and things like that, you can quickly go ahead and get down a good four or a bar loop without too much of a hassle. Now. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it does for your workflow and how it works in FL Studio. And then I'm gonna show you guys how you can get it set up at home. Before we get into all that, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so I can keep bringing y'all this content and so others can see it and get the same benefits you are. So without further ado, let's get into it. What's good, y'all? So what I'm gonna be showing y'all today is how you can use your Launch Key Mini MK3 with FL Studio for a really seamless workflow. The way this template is gonna work is gonna be each drum pad is going to control a channel in FL Studio. So for example, pad one will control channel one. Pad two will control channel two. Pad three will control channel three so forth and so on. And what this does is it allows you to use your controller just like you would use any kind of traditional drum pad and be able to tap out your beats really easily and get a four or eight bar loop going to get your beat started. Another key thing about this template is that your keys will control whatever instrument you have highlighted in your channel selector. In my case today, I have Omnisphere selected. So when I play my keys, my keys are going to control Omnisphere. So now I can go inside a loop record mode and I can play the keys and I can let it, my melody keep looping and then I can come back and lay my drums on top of that melody and be able to get down a good four or eight bar loop really quickly and get a good idea going for a beat. Let's just go over a really quick example just to make sure and really drive it home. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure I have record enabled. I like to have my metronome set and then I got a countdown for when I hit play, it gives me a, 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 a two bar countdown. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I got a melody going, let's add my drums. Five, six, seven, eight. Turn off record. A. Now, um, obviously this isn't the best example in the world, but this is just so you guys get a good idea of the workflow. Just like that, I laid down a melody. I started laying my drums, put in a little two-step hi-hat, and I had a really good vibe going, and I could kind of build my beat out from there. Or I could, you know, start doing more painting in, do whatever you want to do from that point. But the idea is really quickly, you have done a good concept for a beat, and you can kind of take it to the next level from there really good way to get your creativity out really fast and be able to get a beat going and, and you know just really increase your workflow and productivity now that you guys have a better idea of how this works inside of fl studio and why i suggest that you guys use this template i'm going to show you guys how you can get it set up at home now to get this set up at home the first thing you don't want to do is go to customer 
www.innovationmusic.com. If you already have an innovation account, just log in. If you don't, register your product, and that's going to step you through registering your MK3 as well as creating the account that you need. In my case, I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. <clears throat> Once you've logged in and created your account and registered your product, you should see the MK3 right here under my hardware. You're going to want to go down to drivers, and you're going to want to download and run the latest innovation USB driver here. In my case, it's 215.5. In your case, it may be a newer version. Once you download that exe file, it's just going to be a couple of step installation. Just click next, get through that, and then come back to this screen. Then you're going to click here to get components. Now, components is the software that is used to make custom templates for the Mini MK3. Um, you can use the web client here by clicking go to components or you can download the standalone application. I prefer to download the standalone application. You're gonna download it and you're gonna open it up. Once you've opened up the components application, you're gonna to want to make sure you see a green check mark and that's gonna tell you that the keyboard is being recognized by the application. Then you're gonna to wanna to log in. Log in with innovation. In my case, I got automatically logged in since I was already logged into the website. I close the window and go back to the components application. Now I'm going to actually upload custom mode. If you haven't already, make sure you download my custom template. The link is gonna be included in the description of the video and wherever you saved it is where you're gonna to wanna to navigate to and you're gonna to wanna to open it up. In my case, I have it on my desktop and I wanna do LBFO Studio, open. I know this is my template because I see the colors are purple and red and that's just the colors I happen to choose for this template. Now don't look at the screen and try to make your own template because it will not work. Uh, this template is not the actual template that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. This is just a dummy copy so you can see how to do it. But my colors will be purple and they will be red. <clears throat> okay, so you're good to go if you use the template downloaded in the description, but it won't be the same as what you see here. So you, now you're gonna wanna save it. You're gonna do save as, Al BFL Studio. And what this does is it actually saves it to your innovation account online. It kind of saves it in the cloud. You can also save and do a download and you can download the file locally to your computer. Then you're gonna wanna also send to launch Key Mini MK3 to actually send it to the keyboard itself. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go make sure you're running the latest firmware. This is different than the driver you installed earlier. The firmware is what's actually running on the keyboard and you need to update this because I had issues until I ran the latest firmware and got that updated. Your instructions will look a little bit different here if you don't already have the latest firmware. There'll be some instructions stepping you through how you can download and install the latest firmware. Now I'm gonna to go to FL Studio and I'm gonna configure the MIDI settings to be what I need them to be. You go to options, MIDI settings, and we look at the output section and we should see launch key MIDI MK3. We should see send master sync enabled. You should see MIDI out too. Send master sync should also be enabled. Then for the input, you should see launch key mini MK3 and it should say controller type is a launch key keyboard and to make sure that's enabled. MIDI in two should show a, a controller type of launch key performance, make sure that's enabled. And then before you leave the screen, just make sure you select just the launch key as your output and as your input, not MIDI out or MIDI in. Make sure you select launch key mini MK3 and launch key mini mk3 for your output and input and last but not least is make sure omni preview channel is set to 10. take a screenshot of these midi settings and make sure yours match these should be good to close this out and now that i've done that the next thing i'm going to want to do is actually enable the template on my keyboard in order to enable the template on your keyboard, you're going to simply want to hit shift and custom. I had to do it twice. You should only have to do it once. 
you're going to know that the right template is running and installed because you'll see the colors are purple and red which now you will know you're using the Albi template so pad one should control channel one pad two channel two so forth and so on every pad is controlling the channel and then my keys my keys control the instrument I have selected I'm ready to hit loop record and I'm ready to make some fire all you got to do is lay down your melody while the beat is looping for a four bar or eight bar loop and then come back on top of it and start laying your drums whether you want to do that one by one or however you want to do it now you're ready to do your thing this for me is the best workflow for using the mini mk3 with fl studio until next time guys please be sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and drop a comment below if this worked for you and if it helped your workflow let me know man let the other people know so that they can you know use this template too and get some of those same benefits it also helps me out make sure y'all follow me at this is al b on instagram and until next time man this is al b and we out peace